Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Robin. I hope you are having a great day. Well, it's another new month and it's time to learn about another new country. Are you ready to find out what it is? I'm going to show you a really cool flag. Besides ours right here, did you recognize it? What do you think of this flag? There are one, two, three, four, five circles on this flag. We're going to talk about it in just a minute. But first, let's talk about this flag. Do you remember whose flag that is? That's right. It's our flag for the United States of America. That's where we live, right? Let's get out my map and so we can see right where it's at. There it is the United States of America, and what state do we live in? Does anybody remember? Of course you do. It's Minnesota, and it's right there. Now, who remembers all the blue stuff on my map? I know you do. It's the oceans, right, friends? Let's get ready to sing our ocean song. You ready? Make some waves. Oh, I can name the oceans, the oceans, the oceans. I can name the oceans. There are only five. The Atlantic, the Pacific, the Indian, the Arctic, and the fifth one is the Southern, the Southern, the Southern. The fifth one is the Southern. And that makes it five. Good job. Now, let's talk about this flag again, shall we? I'm going to pin it up here so you can look at it really good. So we have blue, yellow, green, red, and black. These colors represent most of the flags all around the world. And guess what? This represents the Olympic Games. Did you watch any of them from last month? Remember, we learned about Japan, and that's where the Olympic Games were held. But the Olympic Games started a long, 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 long time ago in Greece, and that's the country we're learning about this month. Now, that's not the flag for the country. That's the flag for the Olympic Games. Here is the flag for the country of Greece. Look it. It's blue and white. And look at that shape. It's a cross, right? And then there's stripes. So you're going to put a new sticker in your passport this month. How fun is that? All right, so let's look on our map and find where Greece is. I know it's by lots of water, but it's really tiny and it's really far away. It's right there. Can you see it? It's so tiny. Did you know that if we rode on an airplane to get there, it would take us over 11 hours. Wow, that's a long time. There are actually 5,394 miles away, and they're eight hours ahead of us. So if you look at the clock right now, what time is it? Now count eight numbers past that. So if it's the middle of the day, it's close to their bedtime, right? Okay, let's see what else. I think there's boys and girls that live there, right? Let's look at some of the people. Well, here, there's a restaurant right on the water. How fun would that be? I love to do stuff like that. Here's lots of people. This is a celebration called Easter. We celebrate Easter too. So we do some things the same, right? Kind of fun. Here's a beautiful building. Ooh, look at this building. Do you see something on there that's on the flag for Greece? That's right, it's a cross. So that usually means it's a church. Ooh, look at this. There's the ocean. Greece has the ocean water all around it. As a matter of fact, there are lots of islands there. Let's see my note. Oh, 1,200 to 1,600 islands. That's 1,200 to 1,000. 1,600 islands. Isn't that amazing? So look at that beautiful water. There's a boat. I think someone's going to go fishing. Look at that. All the homes are 
in the hills, in the rocks. And do you see all the steps? How do you think you would get, oh, that's a long ways to walk. Do you know what? You might ride on this guy right here. Do you know what that is? That's right, it's a donkey. Just like this guy, it's a donkey. They would put their bags or their suitcases on the donkey and the donkey would climb up the steps so they didn't have to do it and get so tired. Wouldn't that be nice to have your very one donkey? That'd be kind of cool. Let's see what else is in Greece. Hmm. There's more houses. Look at that. Athens is a city in Greece. They have lots of these really cool things. They used to be called temples. They're made of stone. Now it's called a Parthenon. Can you say that? Parthenon. Here's a little cup with a Parthenon on it. You know what might be kind of fun? To build a Parthenon. Maybe with some cups or some Legos. See if you can build these tall things like this. They're called columns. And then you can make a whole bunch of columns and you could stack stuff on top of it. It makes a really good, a good building, right? Here is a theater. Look at that. That's where they went a long, long time ago and to see a show. To people would maybe dance and sing. Wouldn't that be fun? There's the ocean. There's somebody. I think he's fishing. Yep. Lots of buildings and beautiful places. Do you see that? Oh, my daughter and I have talked about going to Greece. Wow, that would be so much fun. Oh, there's the people riding on donkeys. Do you see that? Pretty cool, huh? Oh, let's see what else is there. Hmm, lots of beautiful places. Look at those. Those are the columns. They're still standing there. Pretty cool. Well, here's a cool picture. Do you see this? There's a lady, looks like she's shopping. Now, they go shopping outside, because it's pretty nice outside all year long. And it's called a market. We have those at our, at our homes in the summertime. Mm, they call them farmer's markets, where you can buy different things. Usually we buy like fruits and vegetables. And that's what they like to eat in Greece too. A carrot, right? We can grow carrots in our garden. Does anybody know what this is? Asparagus. Mm, that's yummy. This is just pretend. <gasps> Grapes. Oh, we have some green grapes and some red grapes. Do you remember what you can make from grapes? That's right. Grape juice, or grape jelly, or you can make wine. That's something grown-ups like to drink. Ooh, here's a nummy tomato. You know what this is? That's right. It's a pear. How about this? That's an onion. Ooh, this is kind of yummy. This is a fruit called a pomegranate. Now, if you cut it open, there's little seeds inside, and there's juice inside the seeds. They're really yummy. Ooh, this is one of my favorite things to cook with. This is garlic. You break it apart, and there's little pieces of garlic, and you smoosh it up, and then you can put it in whatever you want to. Some lettuce, maybe a bacon lettuce sandwich. That sounds kind of good. And don't forget the tomato. <laughs> Ooh, we all love this. Corn on the cob. You mean the people in Greece like to eat the same kind of foods that we do? Kind of fun. They might bring a basket to the market to put their food in. And they'll bring it home and cook it up and have dinner with their family, just like you and me. Oh, let's see what else do I have here. Oh, I have something fun in here. This is a little purse they might have. And oh, you're not going to believe it. Wow, look at that. Do you remember what this is called? It's called a Parthenon. Remember it used to be called a Colosseum? <laughs> oh, it used to be called, oh my gosh, what was it called? I can't even remember. I'm so silly. Oh, towers and all that fun stuff. Anyways, let's, remember we're going to try to build something fun out of that, right? Okay, I have, do 
You know what this is? That's right, it's a clock. Do you know that a long, long time ago in Greece, they didn't have clocks. They had something called a sundial. And guess what? We're going to make a sundial this month when we learn about Greece. So if you look really closely at it, there's this big stick sticking out of it. And there's a shadow. Do you remember what a shadow is? If you go outside and you see your reflection from the sun, you might see your reflection on the ground, on a sidewalk. That's your shadow. And that's how they used to tell the time. The shadow would reflect on a number on the sundial. So you guys might get to do a fun experiment this month and try out your very own sundial and see if you can get that to tell you the time. Oh, I forgot about something else that they love to eat in Greece. Olives. Do you see that? I love to eat olives. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, let's see what else do I have here. Well, I think that's all I have for now. But I want to teach you a couple of words. Kalimera, that means good day. I forgot to say that right away to you, my friends. So Kalimera. And also, when it's time to say goodbye, we say Averosas. Avrosas, sorry. Avrosas, that means goodbye. And I think it's time for me to say goodbye. All right, friends, I hope you have so much fun learning about Greece, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.